This guide is meant for experienced players if you need step-by-step -step instructions on where to start the quest, how to get to certain locations, or other basic things of that nature. This guide is not for you. So for one small favor, you will need 36 agility, 25 crafting, 18 herbler, 30 smithing, and you need to have completed Rune Mysteries, Shiloh Village, and Druidic Ritual. The items you will need are 4 steel bars, um, bronze bar, iron bar, chisel, at least 4,000 coins, I'd bring extra though, um, 2 guam, a harlander, and a marental, and a hammer, and a teacup, um, called an empty cup, a pot, and a bowl of hot water. And during the quest you'll also need five pigeon cages, but you'll pick those up during the quest, so um, don't need to have them beforehand. You also need a soft clay, but you'll get that during the quest, so don't have to worry about that either. And then the recommended items, I would say, is um, there is a monster you have to fight, and it is weak to pickaxes, so I would wield the best pickaxe you can. Um, and have just some other gear, some armor if you're low level, uh, and strength boosting gear and stuff like that uh, to fight it. Um, possibly some super super set or some food in the bank to grab before you fight it um, and stamina potions I'd bring probably five is probably enough for the quest uh, you may have to grab one or two more during the quest uh, start out with five um, then five Varok teleports two Taverly teleports five Camelot teleports five Artie teleports two Lumbridge teleports and a Brimhaven teleport and at least four charges on your glory, uh, so four teleports with that. And at least four charges on your combat bracelet, so four teleports with that. And then a dueling ring with some teleports. And so to start the quest, you speak to Yanni here in Shiloh Village. Which option is 215. So after that, you run south, and then east you want to exit Shiloh Village, go out the wooden gates, then out the metal gates, then search the broken carts. Then you want to talk to the forest search option is 4-1. You want to teleport to Draenor Village, make sure you have the axe. Axe shop with the axe icon. Talk to Brian. Which option is three two four. Teleport to Draenor. Wanna go through this door? Aggie, which option is 232. Run east. Towards this little hut with the dungeon icon. I'm gonna pick lock the trapdoor. I 
but after that you want to head down it through this door Over here, there should be a guy named Johannes. Speak to him. Chat options 432. Right, then you want to head back out of this place. Up the ladder. Now you want to head northeast. Thread the farmer. Which option here is three. Head east. Cross the bridge and then head north to Seth the farmer. Which option is two. Upward of the rock. Head northeast up to this anvil icon shop. Speak to Harvick, Chop options 3 2. Upward of the rock. Head southwest. Over to the Apothic Cree. Chop option is 152. And then Chop options 2. Hellboard Edgeville. Run south. Into Barbarian Village. Speak to Tassie, which should be in this uh, shop over here. Shop options one. Teleport to the monastery. Run south. Over here, head down this trap door. And head south. Then west. Over here, you want to speak to Hammer Spike. Options 4 2. And I'm lagging. Upward to Taverly. Run 
Run south. I'm gonna head up this staircase in here. Speak to Sanfu. Which options two two. Three one. your bowl of hot water and your empty cup, then use your Harlander on it, then both your Guams, then your Morantil. That will make a Guthix rest. I'm going to head over here, up onto White Wolf Mountain. You want to speak to the gnome up here next to the transportation icon. This can be annoying sometimes if the big wolf gets aggroed onto you. You have to lure it off of you. Um, to speak to him, which option is 2-4. Teleport to Camelot and head southeast. Speak to Arhain, which option is four one. Teleport to Kami. Head west. You want to enter this house over here? Speak to Phantom Sum, Phantom Wuti, whatever. Which option is 4351. Teleport to the Ranging Guild and head south. And west. Should come to a dark patch with a dungeon icon. Enter the cave entrance. Run north. Once you're in this room, be a little like cutscene, and then you want to look at sculpture, examine it, and search it. Teleport to Artie. Head northeast. The wizard, which options for two. Run south. If you have an arty cloak, that would be helpful here. I don't though, so I'm just gonna run south. I'm gonna head to Port Cazard. Running south past the Tower of Life, 
down to Port Cazard. over here and speak to Tyndall, which your option is 2-1. Wanna head south? I guess uh, west and then south. I guess a Yanil teleport would have been helpful right there. I did not think of that beforehand though. Nightmare Zone teleport would help, but I'm saving that for later in the quest when it's even more of a help. So run south, run south of Yanil, just follow the coastline. from the big trumpy bird hunting quest which is next to this quest icon on the map Draw option is 2-4 then you want to head west towards the transportation icon will be a glider you want to speak to the gnome here the draw option is 4 I'm sorry, it's 4-1 and I'm lagging again want to search these gnome landing lights. Use your chisel on the gems you get. If you break one you'll have to talk to them again. Your option is 4 to get a new one. 4 1. And I'm really lagging now. It's taking forever just to go through this really short dialogue. So search all of these lights, fix the cut the gems it gives you, and then put it back on. Any that you crush, you just speak to this guy with the option 4-1. This should give you a new gem for 500 coins. I might stop the recording until I'm done lagging. Another one crushed. This lag really annoys me. It's really slowing down my time too. I'd probably already be done with this part. But oh my, 
Yeah, I'm going to stop it until it's done lagging because this is just, it's taking 30 seconds to go through a dialogue that should take one second. And I'm still lagging. I was just on another account and it wasn't lagging as much, but then as soon as I get back onto this account, it's, it's very weird. And another crushed gem. So after fixing them all, speak to him, which option should be four. Be like a short little cutscene. I'm gonna head back to Rance to the east. Rance option is two. Teleport to Nightmare Zone. And head north up towards the Zard, or Port Gazard. Speak to Tyndall, Choptions 2-2. Teleport to Artie. Speak to the wizard up here to the northeast. He should give you an like animate rock spell or something like that. Which option is four. Now head west. Now is the time to prepare for a fight, so get some food if you think you'll need it. The boss is kind of hard for a mid-level, mid it might be a little hard if you don't have any food anyway. If you have food, it should be pretty easy. Um, and also grab five pigeon cages while you're over here. I'm going to go ahead and also grab a whip also because there is a few other monsters you have to fight later on. Follow this path up to the windmill, windmill to the, the west path out of those two, or splits, uh, going to this cave entrance. Then run north. Once you get in here, you want to read Animate Rock Spell. Obviously lagging again. It's just great. So 
Death is dead, read your anime rock spell again. Should free the girl over here. You can pick up this stuff if you want to. After you're done talk, talking to her, teleport to Kami. Head west. You can drop your bowl, you don't need that. Uh, for this next part, you will need three inventory spots. Head to this house right here. The chat option is 44221. That is just going really slow right now compared to what it usually does. So after you're done talking to him, head up the ladder. Go through this door. And the other door. Up this other ladder. Then you want to search the weather vane. Use a hammer on it after you search it. And search it again. Now you want to head down the ladder again. Option is one. Head down the ladder over here. Uh, head over to this uh, building with the smithing anvil icon. Use each piece that you got from that weather vane on the anvil. Then run back. Up the ladder. You want to use each piece on the weather vane. Head down the ladder. And I am lagging again. I guess I have been lagging for the last five minutes non stop, so I guess. Anyway, go down the ladder. Speak to this guy again. Two options four. Teleport to Cami. Head southeast. Speak to Arhein, which option is 4. Head up to the White Wolf Mountain. Speak to the gnome glider, which option is two. I'll teleport to Taverly. I'm gonna head south. Climb up the staircase and speak to Sanfu, which option is two.
teleport to the monastery. Head south and west. And this is the part where you're going to be fighting some other uh, NPCs. Head down the trap door. Head south. Head west. Speak to Hammer Spike. Speak to him again. You have to defeat all these guys. Pretty easy. Level 49 and 44. Actually, defeat those three. Speak to Hammer Spike again. Teleport to Edgeville. Head south. on the potter's wheel, make a lid, pot lid, use that on the clay oven or pottery oven, and teleport to Varrock. You want to head south, west to the pother cree, whatever it's called. Also use your pot lid on the pot. Which option here is 1-5. Teleport to the rock. Head northeast up to Horvick. Chow option is three. Speak to him again, chow option is three. Teleport to Lumbridge. Head northeast. Here to the farmer. Speak to him and teleport to Lumbridge. Head west, back behind the castle. here to the dungeon icon and you want to pick lock this trap door again. Once it opens, go down. Head southeast through this door. I want to speak to Johannes, which is usually over next to this door. Option is four. Teleport to Draenor, or I guess run there if you're out of glory charges. Um, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna teleport over to Castle Wars and grab another glory. So 
So once you're back in Draenor, you want to head over to Aki. Which option is two. Now you want to head over to Port Serene. shop, speak to Brian inside, and the child option is three. I should give you the axe back, teleport to Brimhaven. And run north. be a guy that will quick travel you over to Shiloh. If you want to pay fare, then head east out of Shiloh village to speak to the forester. Shot option is four. Give you some red mahogany logs. Search the broken cart. Chapter one. Go through the metal gates and the wooden gates, and head back to the quest to start area. And that is quest complete. As soon as you talk to Yanni Salika. Option is two. 